Moving on to acceleration. In this case, we have a sprinter that starts a race with a certain acceleration. The big assumption here, of course, is we have to assume that the acceleration is constant. For all the formulas that we cover in this class, we have to basically assume that the acceleration is constant or else we will have to use calculus in order to solve the problem properly. But given that the acceleration is constant, we do have at our disposal a couple of very handy formulas that relate a speed at some later time as you accelerate and also what the position is doing based on the initial speed and the acceleration. To be precise, this is change in x, x being position. So what's happening here? Well, we have a sprinter who's at the starting line about to push off. So this is, let's say that's t equals zero. And of course we see that the original velocity is also zero in this case. And a little later, sometime later, the sprinter is running. So part A that we're asked for at t equals 2.4 seconds, uh, what is my final velocity? Well, that's fairly simple, given that you can just employ this equation and plug everything in, because we already know A. Vf is equal to V0, which is 0 at time 0, and 4.5 meters per second squared, multiplied by 2.40 seconds. The second cancel was with second squared. And you get, from your calculator, you will get the number of 10.8 meters per second. Nothing too exciting, but just to see how the formula gets used. For part B, they want us to draw or roughly sketch a position versus time graph, which we kind of have a sense because you see the parabola happening here. You know at the beginning that the slope is fairly flat because the person's not moving very fast and then the person speeds up and speeds up some more. So the graph gets steeper and steeper. But before we can make a decent sketch, let's plot out and work out a few points using the formula that we have. We can do 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2 and 2.4 because they want it to end at 2.4. It's good to get the end point. Plugging everything in up here, it becomes just calculator work because we know that v naught is equal to 0 and x naught is equal to 0. So x becomes just 1 half a t squared. And a we know t we're going to plug in for the first one is 0 because time equals 0, 0 squared gives you 0, then becomes 0 0.6, and 2, we're just going to be very rough because it's a quick sketch, we're not going to be taking out our graph paper and doing a very very good fine job here. So we know that at 2.4 seconds, we'll be roughly at 13 meters, and if that's 13, Let's see, 5 will be about here. At 1.5 seconds, we'll be at about 5. And then at 2 seconds, we're up at 9, so on and so forth. And for the first point is 0, first, it's just half, which is very low. And then it goes to 2, which is about 6 of that, and so on and so forth. So hopefully you can see why we have the curvy shape that we have because we start out slow and then we speed up over time so the graph gets steeper and steeper.